Today I'm going to show you how to render lace using oil paint on canvas. I'm working with a small piece of gray lace from the 19th century on a three inch square. Tone your canvas with a terpy mix of Payne's gray or whatever base coat you want for the mid-tone of your actual lace piece. Now you'll be using sketching and filling in the sketch to create the design of your lace. Starting in the center, sketch then fill in the negative space or in other words the holes of the lace. Keep moving outward and outward taking care to preserve the symmetry and you'll start to see the lace shape emerge as you fill in the negative space. I'm using purple because that's going to be the background for my lace, as though it's resting on another piece of cloth, or maybe a piece of paper. You'll really start to see the shape of the lace emerge as you keep filling in the negative space. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect. Perfect wouldn't be realistic in this case. Next, you're going to decide where your light source is coming from. The purple arrow you can see on your screen now is where I've decided my light's coming from. That's important because now I need to add shadows. To add shadows, take a darker tone of your background color and make a small outline on the opposite side of where the light would be coming in on your piece. Once you've done that, take your brush and gently blend away from the solid line you'll begin to see that you're making an effect of a soft shadow, as though the light is shining from one side and casting a shadow, a small one, from the edges of your lace. Do this one by one, piece by piece, and soon you'll start to see a real dimensionality emerge from your lace piece. As you work, it's a good time to add a little more definition in areas that might have gotten a little bit blurred. Keep adding the dark lines, blending them, and then lightening to add the dimension. Here I've done another set, which will become earrings. I actually invented this design. I wasn't even looking at a piece of lace. This technique you can even use to create your own designs from your head. But coming back to my larger piece, I'm working from a real piece of lace, which is gray. The paint that I lay down first, that tone of Payne's gray, is my mid-tone. I'm going to be adding some darker tones and then some lighter. I'm using the same technique by adding a line of my darkest paint and then gently blending it. The line is on the opposite side of where the light is coming in from. Again, that gives the dimension. You can see here the finished piece. And if you look closely, you'll see that I've actually scraped back the paint far enough on some areas to give it some highlights. So here's the finished piece of gray lace, along with a few extras that I made up along the way. I have a tighter style that's represented in this piece, but if you like your paintings to be a little bit looser, you could do a little less blending and a little more impasto strokes for your finish, and you'd have a different style but no less realistic piece of lace. Thanks for watching. I'm Katherine Barbosa, and you can find my work on Etsy at allthesmall.com or katherinebarbosafineart.com. And thanks again for watching.